You must start addressing the rest of the employees as their boss, not their friend. You are no longer their friend. You are now their boss, and you must start to act like a boss. William is having a really hard time communicating with the rest of the employees because he was so used to joking around with them and having fun with them. But now he must act more like their boss and less like their friend. Part of William's new promotion is to give the employees their yearly review, and he has already completed seven reviews, of which all of the employees so far were praised for their hard work and were given a raise. Now William is on his last review, and it happens to be one of his close colleagues, Ryan Smith. Good morning, Ryan. Thanks for coming. Let's get this process started. Morning, William. Did you want to see me? Your numbers are down and they do not look good for you. Unfortunately, because of the numbers, I am going to have to let you go. I am sorry, but you are the only employee who has a negative number. I cannot allow you to continue working here. What? You're firing me? But I'm your friend, man. I am sorry, but there is nothing I can do. This is the only choice that I have. Ryan was very disappointed as he walks out of William's office and packed his belongings and left the building. William was feeling guilty about what just happened, but as he looked up, Mr. Oliver and Ca Mr. Campbell were coming into his office. Great job, William. You have negotiated all of the new raises and communicated to the employee who had a negative review that he was no longer working for the company. I know. It might have been hard to fire your lost friend, but business is business, and he had a negative review. This was the only choice. William was still sad over the events that I'm had just taken place.